So, do you remember your schoolboys years or schoolgirls years, if you are a girl, yes? And uh, I remember a little bit of my 8th grade and 13 years old life of Igor, of this version of me. And uh, I was participating at a scientist uh, congress or conference, how to say it, I don't know, forum. And uh, then I improved my performances uh, skills. And today we're gonna talk about it. And uh, for people, I want to say that at those times, I, would not, I was not really nice in my speaking, public speaking, I was really like a shit, I was lower than average, uh, maybe a little bit lower, and uh, it means that uh, I could speak only a small talk, like a hello, how are you, I'm good, uh, and then uh, bye bye, uh, that's all okay, it is our all talk was, but on those times, let's go back to this time, let's run, through the nightens and we are right now at uh, 2011 i'm speaking with uh, my uh, i was speaking with my teacher leader teacher leader is a person who rules us all rules our class all means like uh, one uh, one uh, one uh, ring to rule us all and uh, she was ruling like a principal but principal is kind of hi higher on hierarchy and uh, she was ruling us, and uh, after some moments, she was uh, communicating with me. Hey, Igor, do you want to participate at the scientist conference? She asked me, and after that, I was like... Um, hesitating and <laughs> then she called to my mom and my mom was a local historian guide for those times and uh, my mom said uh, if he wants okay if he doesn't want uh, okay too and uh, then my classmate asked uh, my teacher leader said asked me uh, again she was uh, 55 years old maybe and uh, I said okay I will participate in it and uh, my teacher leader was a historian teacher and it means that uh, she maybe has had a hope that my mom will help me with this work what does it mean to do like a scientist uh, scientist uh, Jo not job scientist uh, scientist public speaking yes scientist uh, conference what does it mean it means that people will sit down and will listen to your research uh, work to your research job to your reports about some of the researchment of scientific stuff about something like medicine maybe about chemistry about physics about something in our world and uh, they will listen it and after that uh, will be kind of jury and they will say you are on first place you are on second you are on third and etc i hope that you understand me right now it is uh, how does it look in russian and uh, i was participating at it uh, and uh, before public speaking need to prepare our work need to prepare our research work that uh, we will show to them okay and uh, how did I prepare it? I didn't. I didn't prepare it by my own. My mom helped me fully, and <laughs> she wrote full research work about uh, what what kind of uh, what kind of thematic, uh, what kind of topic we cho have chosen, had chosen. We chosen uh, one thing called uh, sewer machines of uh, Zinger and uh, their influence to our city, local city Podolsk. It is city when I am. Am right now. It is a city in uh, Moscow district, and uh, I was uh, a kind of uh, <laughs> hesitating again. Like, oh Jesus, I need to speak my public speaking speech, but uh, I didn't write it by my own. It means that uh, I will use it. I will use like a television broadcaster who uses editor, specific editor or a specific man writer who writes like a specific text, uh, specific speeches and uh, like a consultant for me. It was my mom. And uh, <laughs> I will speak about uh, the sewer machines without... Uh, kind of uh, researchment by my own really i didn't read a book about it <laughs> i didn't read even like uh, five pages about it only what i had it is my research work that my mom made for me and okay we have this situation i have text like 15 pages of a4 format and need to read it some of the words that i don't know something like a strange facts and uh, i was uh, 
prepare i was preparing like uh, i was uh, at home at those times and uh, i was doing like a uh, need to read it need to read it need to read it by my, my motivation was like uh, after two weeks i, sh I should show it to my uh, leader teacher at school and i was preparing like need to read it need to read it need to prepare it about me i want to say that uh, me at school years i didn't i didn't at my school years 2011 year i didn't uh, read any book i mean that uh, almost nothing i read nothing and it was uh, kind of for me hard to read 15 pages to so oh, jesus i don't want to do this and uh, need to prepare also speech like a prepared without uh, some of the i would say hint or what yes hint without hint uh, lists okay two weeks after I was a little bit of prepared. I could, like I say, words uh, without uh, tuttering. <laughs> it means that I, I was, I, I could read it and could read it with a nice, uh, like a speech, uh, with a nice voice. Uh, I mean that, uh, not like a, yes, it is my work about sewer, but like, a, yes, it is my works about uh, sewer machines. Like this I was doing, but only reading. And okay, I didn't think what will be after two weeks. After two weeks, my teacher said to me, right now, you will show it to our classmates. To our classmates, it means that I will speak right now with the speech that I didn't prepare. Uh, I, I, I was prepared. I prepared like I was rehearsing like uh, 20 times uh, <laughs> fully. And uh, I wasn't uh, fully prepared because it's my like a first speech for six minutes. It was speech uh, of six minutes uh, or even 10, 12, uh, firstly it was on 12th after that we did uh, like cutting and uh, my leader teacher said to me hey gore it's your time let's go and uh, after that i went to the center of our room classroom and i was uh, starting like a Da, da, da. 100 years ago uh, and 10 days ago, 110 days ago, Isaac Zinger created a sewer machine, yes, but he uh, he doesn't uh, created it. Uh, one man also created it. And uh, it was one more man. After that, we, we were talking about this knitting and needling stuff. Uh, I was talking about it. And after that, I said, it is our business card of our city that uh, influenced our our city and uh, it was kind of metaphorical speech and uh, sewer machines are good yes okay everybody is clapping 12 minutes of kind of cringe and weirdness ended and uh, then by the way i feel the same way right now because i speak about it on english and speaking on english it is almost the same like a narration and uh, and my first attempts because it is my first attempt about uh, s storytelling about it Okay, and uh, at those times I was like, oh, Jesus, yes, okay, good. And it happened. I made a speech. I was kind of a little bit glad and shy and cringe. Then, one day after, <laughs> my class teacher, leader teacher said to me, Igor, right now you will participate for another class, not my own. Okay. Let's do a little bit, I thought inside of my mind, let's do a little bit weirdness for another people who are from our school. Let's make a laugh at me right now about this stuff. I thought this way a little bit. I uh, was kind of uh, like, um, not super hesitating, but feeling of uh, something that maybe I shouldn't speak it. Uh, it is the way like uh, when someone else uh, says to you like uh, it will be okay 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 no, no, don't think about other people everything will be okay I, but i was kind of uh, i don't know how to say uh, it is feeling of emotion excited in a not really good way like uh, oh jesus i'm excited i don't want to. nervous nervous yes uh, like uh, and hesitating hesitating nervous uh, feeling was and okay, I was participating for one more class, and uh, it was so uh, one year. Uh, I was an eighth grade. I was speaking for seventh grade. Okay, I spoke. It was better because it was it was my second attempt to speak to the audience. And okay, 
then my classmate uh, leader leader said uh, teacher teacher leader said to me Igor okay good you are prepared my little padawan and uh, obi-wan and uh, another uh, i don't know how to say it correct and you are prepared Let's go to another conference. It was only preparation. Right now you will go to a real conference. And uh, then I was participating at a conference uh, called like a youth, youth, uh, youth science uh, culture. Youth science culture it was naming. And uh, I was participating at it. Uh, it was audience of 40, 45 people. And they were not like a classmate, they were like old people, some old people, I mean that 55, 60 years old, they were on jury, like a people who will, will say to you, six points for Gryffindor, ten for Slytherin, and uh, it, uh, it was this kind of time, and... Um, okay, I was participating, I was uh, standing again on a... <laughs> on the classroom, but another of another school. It was a good time, by the way. It was like a adventuring to another, like a traveling to another place, because I was traveling at those times only in World War Card game. And uh, I was uh, participating at one more classroom, and I won second place. <laughs> I won second trophy, uh, like a seven, a second, a second place. I mean that I was like almost leader. I was, uh, I don't know how to say it. It is a word of prizer, but I say I won second uh, prize, second place uh, prize trophy. And it was, oh Jesus Christ, I, I made it. Yes. And nothing is impossible. And uh, then I uh, was glad, okay. And uh, then my uh, teacher said, leader teacher said to me, Igor, right now you will go to one more, uh, to one more and one more and one more, like, uh, place. It was Obninsk, it was Chernigalovk, it was Pratvino. Three places, these three cities that we have in our... Uh, in our world of uh, Russia, yes. And... Uh, we were going with people, one more my classmate we were going to, and one more uh, girl too, and one more man on another conference too. And we were participating uh, at, those, uh, at these times, and also I remember that some of the people from 11th grade went with us too. It was a funny time, because it is always fun when we have people older than we are, yes? And... Um, Especially when a distance between years, only four years, not like a gap of 70 years. And uh, we were participating, I have some photos, uh, maybe in some day I will show it to you. And uh, we were participating at these times and uh, I won one more second place. And uh, on another I was only with uh, like a Thanksgiving letter like a thanks uh, for participating Igor you're nice you're good your uh, work was good and uh, I was participating yes we, and uh, we were at another cities it was a good time and uh, I if I will look right now at those years like I'm 2020 years and uh, we have 2011 if I will look right now to these times those times it was kind of like a Jesus, it was boring thing, like uh, participating at things like this. Uh, they were, they were almost everybody almost boring. We were like their speaking, their uh, performances was not so. Uh, we were so, not so good. They were speaking th th from least like I did, but finally I was uh, almost uh, learned this text by heart, not fully, but uh, like 25 percent I learned by heart. It was good, and uh, then uh, I <laughs> I want to say that I improved my performance skills on those times because I started to understand more vocabulary, and uh, if I will talk about like results of this participating, I won uh, twenty seven thousand rubles for those times. It was how much? Uh, the forty eight eight uh, seven. Uh, for those times, it was seven seven hundred. Yes, seven, seven, almost seven hundred dollars. I won prize, and I have uh, kind of maybe here. I don't know uh, somewhere. I have like a 
I have a list. Igor, it is your grant. It is your grant. You won it. You won uh, almost uh, $700 for those times because dollar was uh, lower for rubble, uh, like exchange. And uh, also I won a little bit of skills. And uh, a little bit of skills. What do I mean with that? I started to be confident on stage. I and I started to love stage uh, public speaking. I was not super like uh, confident in it, but I could do this a little bit about my topic. Only about my topic. I could speak about my topic like uh, it is my job. I mean that uh, if you know something good, uh, then you can speak it like it's your job. And I was good at this topic. How did I do this? How I made myself good at this topic uh, about this uh, sewer machine zingers? I made myself better and uh, cooler at this this topic by repetition, by rehearsing and uh, by speaking to audience. And uh, what's uh, like um, moral of this story? That if you will practice your topics like uh, if you will practice more some topics specific topics the better you will be on it the better you will if you will learn music you will you will be each day better on it and so you will be firstly not really nice after that better 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 and then you will be like oh jesus i can speak about music a lot then uh, the same thing with history if you will learn one topic then you can learn another topic, then you can learn another, and you will be good at history. And with physics, you know some of the laws of uh, maybe Newton, and then about uh, Einstein, and then uh, you will be better on it too. And uh, what's my final speech? I want to say that need to speak more if you want to be a good performer. And uh, need to sing more if you want to be a good singer. Need to be, need to rehearse more things if you want to be good at something from another angles. And public speaking, it is speaking about uh, like connection between our words. The better vocabulary you have, active vocabulary, the better you are. Okay, and uh, I think that need to finish this video. Yes. Thanks so much for everybody who was watching. It was my first ever, uh, almost ever, uh, prepared talk. I did not prepare it fully, I prepared a little bit, I wrote like a, a screenplay or how to say it correct, uh, draft on my document word. And uh, I think that it was good. I used new words for me, like a congress, forum, sewer machine, and uh, another participation. I uh, don't use it frequently. And uh, the more I practice through the stories, the better I am, the better I, the better skills of public speaking I have to, the more confidence I have, the better I will communicate with you and engage to new things. See you next time. Always improve your performances, speaking performances, singing and other things. Engage with your audience. You can win this world. And don't forget that all depends on you. See you next time. Bye bye.